Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D. And today, before we do anything else, it's the final day, and usually there aren't too many things you can do on the final day. So you know what we're gonna do about that? We're gonna return to the dawn of the first day by playing the Song of Time. Which means, oh no, I'm gonna lose all my Deku Nuts and Sticks! Wherever will I get more? <sighs> it's a sacrifice I'm willing to take, though. Even if it does hurt us. No, I'm just kidding. We can get that crap whenever, don't really matter. But now that we're on a new cycle, I believe this is like our fourth cycle. Yeah, because, okay, the first the first three days, then that, yeah, I guess, so. I guess so. But yeah, now that's all been taken care of, we can get even more side quests done, and the quickest way to the mountains is not really important to me right now, because we're going to play our inverted Song of Time, and today is the day, guys. For those who do not know, Majora's Mask, like a lot of Zelda games, has a couple heart pieces and upgrades that are kind of annoying to get. So, today is the day we're going to knock out the majority of them, hopefully. Now, to do this, I'm going to need a lot of rupees, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to mess up a lot. So, let's, uh, yeah, but he's good, okay. So, the first thing that we can do, and pretty much this, this, uh, little quest thing... The time does not matter, this place is basically open up 24-7, so come right... And here to the <laughs> training dojo. And inside, you'll find our sensei. And, oh, how adorable. Let me tell you, long years. If you study the way of the sword here, they'll get dirty. So put them away. And welcome to the friendly and polite 24 hour one on one training session. From now on until the end of the carnival, join at a discount. Okay, and we're going to take the expert course. Cut 10 logs with the specific technique. How do you do this? Basically, just do a jump slash, and you'll be good to go. So, Z target onto these logs, and do not miss any of them to get 30 points. Only t two logs will spawn at a time, so it's not really a big deal, and if you've been playing the game for hopefully a long time, because it's a really good game, this should become pretty natural to you. Just Z target, then press A. It's not too hard. As soon as you jump attack a couple more times. You can't miss any logs, though. The time timing on it, not really too important. It's actually not too hard to get. You probably won't have any troubles with it, actually. And Impressive. Must give you this. A piece of heart. Nice. So we got two so far. So if we get two more, another heart container. Nice. And we've mastered the Swordsman uh, side quest. Now, that was the easiest one, hands down. That was, like, the easiest quest. There's no way... I was not going to obtain that, like, piece of heart. The other ones, though, eh, they're kind of not so easy. So, yeah, that's, I'm not looking forward to that. So the next uh, one that we're going to do is basically there's two quests in this game that you have to complete a mini game across three days, and you have to do it in three days. And the next one, we're going to need our deck. Actually, I don't think you need the Deku Mask, but this is... Well, we're going to need the Deku Mask to play the game, so might as well get it now. Let me see this uh, little bud. Yeah. We're going to enter this flower, then fly over here to get to a secret area. So I want to call it a secret area, but everyone knows about this, so it's kind of not. Yeah. Anyway, say hello to the Deku Playground. Yeah, I don't like this place, and want to play a game? Sure, man. Alright, so use the Deku Flower and collect all the rupees. Yeah, and you have to beat a time limit. It, I don't like this, man. This is just... Uh, this game... I don't know what it is. This is another scenario where the easiest things in the world seem to be the hardest for me. Nothing about this is difficult. Basically, you just take yourself from flower to flower and collect all the rupees. There's no hidden tricks, and you even have the R button where you can kind of guide yourself and you can use your shadow to see where you're going to land. And as long as you kind of like leave the flower when you're at least a little high up, it's super easy. But for whatever reason, I always mess up at this. I don't know what it is, man. I got like the Deku uh, statues. So we're originally here, so it's kind of cool that they're, uh, you know, hanging around watching me. Uh, hopefully succeed at this mini game. So we got 40 seconds so far. We only have one ruby left after this one. <laughs> See, that's all I like saying myself because I wasn't sure. But yeah, we're basically gonna have to do this three more. Actually, no, two more times if we get. It. Okay, <laughs> I was kind of afraid I was gonna mess up and jinx myself, but yeah. So we did it. Nice and oh, amazing. It's a new record. Take this. A uh, a fishing. 
whole pass. Neat. Originally, this would be 50 rupees, but for whatever reason, they decided to change that. Thank you, Grezzo or Nintendo, for changing that. I didn't want those 50 rupees, Dad. Okay, anyways. So now that that has been taken care of, we'll get our name and Link. That's a strange name for a Deku scrub. If you come back again tomorrow, it'll be a different course. Now we're going to have to beat this mini game three times across the three days to get the heart piece. Why they made it like that, I don't know. But that is one of two quests like this in this game. So we might as well transition to eventually getting the other one. But I also probably need to grab some rupees because I am just horrible at the... I, I don't know what it is. I'm just horrible at these two side quests. And uh, honestly, I was kind of bad at all of them. But thanks to the new controls on the uh, 3DS, it's kind of easy. And let's take the bunny hood off and go get ourselves uh, a silver rupee. Because why not, man? The chest respawns every day. So you might as well grab it. You know, why, why not, man? Okay, I think... Yeah. Is, are there any other heart pieces I could probably get? Retaining to mini games. I mean, there's the one, but I don't have the mask for that one yet. But anyway, so the bane of every Let's Player's existence. This game, the archery mini game with the Octoroks. Basically, it's real simple. Hit the red Octoroks. Don't hit the blue ones. This sucks. But luckily, we have the new 3DS controls, so we can aim a lot better. Basically, in the original N64 version, this was very, very difficult. You were not able to aim this accurately, and sometimes hitting the Octoroks could be very troublesome. But luckily, you know, it's pretty darn easy. And yeah, I'm pretty sure, though, that their locations are not set per, like, game, if you know what I mean. So, the... Positions that you're seeing them spawn in now are going to be different, but they appear in the same place every single time. So, when you're just playing by yourself with your own copy of the game, these Octoroks will all spawn in the same location, and I think we just need to get a couple more. They do not give you a lot of time with this, man. This is definitely a very tough uh, game, but the reward is semi-good. I mean, if we beat it a second time, we get Pete's heart. For the first time, we get something totally different. Alright, 15 seconds to go. We still have not messed up, luckily. I have not shot a blue one yet. But even if you don't shoot any blue ones, it can sometimes be rather difficult. And okay, last one. Come on! Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness we got it. We got 50 points. And that will give us a perfect. Not bad. And for our reward, we will get not really something that's worth it, in my opinion. But hey, we broke a new record. And for that, we'll get a large quiver. Nice, so now we can store up to 40 arrows, but guess what? I gotta do that all over again and get a perfect to get the piece of heart. And it's not the easiest thing in the world when you're playing on the N64 version, but in this one it's pretty easy. So let's play for another game and we'll get shooting, I guess. Okay, I guess I, I guess that's it. And a little bit later, we get our perfect. It's not too much harder. I failed one time, though, which is why you'll see a difference in rupees. But does that matter? No, it does not. And we will get the piece of hearts from the target shooting game, gallery, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we just need one more to complete a heart container. Now we never have to come back here ever again. If you need a reason to play this version of Majora's Mask, that alone should be... A it's that guy again. I guess he's just delivering letters. Anyways, that should be a good enough reason. Now say hello to another mini game, the Honey and Darling Shop. It looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, would you like to play? Today is a bomb chew gallery day, isn't it, darling? Hit each target with a bomb chew. I do not like this, man. So basically, we're on a platform and we have to hit these targets with bomb chews. Seems simple enough, the bomb chews, they go in a straight line, right? But the problem is, each target you hit, the podium thing begins to spin more and more, so it gets a little harder to line up your shots. Okay, this is probably gonna cost me a lot of rupees. Okay, maybe not. Well, I'm 
starting to get them. Luckily, you do have a lot of time to do this, but if you keep messing up and your like rhythm gets kind of thrown off... <laughs> I hate this funny game, too. The other one's so easy. This one, for whatever reason, gives me so many problems. Oh my gosh, come on. And another issue is, if you jump off of it, you basically game over and you don't get your rupees back. So it's kind of annoying. And you're trying sometimes like you're trying to fight like the movement. Okay, I just flat out lost. There's no way I can get the other one. Oh, well, maybe no. Oh. <laughs> I just like this a lot. It's honestly probably not as hard as I'm making it out to be, but yeah, kind of annoying. But we need to complete this quest across three days, and okay, this is gonna be the first failure we see. Yeah, we, we messed this up. Three days of gaming. That just sounds very weird to me for some reason. I don't know why. Sounds familiar, almost. Is it a reference to something? I, I really doubt it. And yeah, the Honey and Darling Shop. So we're going to pay another 10 rupees and try that again. And hopefully succeed. Ducks! Yeah, we got it! Woohoo! Alright. A <laughs> little bit of exaggeration. I strongly dislike that bomb shoe minigame. And I'm glad it is over. He got a perfect score. We have to share happiness with him. Another gas dang fishing hole pass! I don't want these! God dang. Whatever. So we cleared the first day of three days of gaming. How about that? That's annoying, so let's show off our love. Uh, okay. Cool, guys. We're ha, very weird people. Anyways, so now that's been taken care of, we're going to play the Song of Soaring. Basically, we had one unfinished side quest in the Southern Swamp, not retaining to minigames, so I figured we'd just knock that out in this episode, too. Basically, if you have the pictograph and you take a picture of either Tingle or the King of the Dekus, uh, and take it to the guy running the tourist shop, he'll actually give you a piece of heart. So, we could either, you know, get rid of, you know, swamp water and stuff, or we could just come up to Teagle, shoot him with our bubble, and just take a picture of him and move on, which is, in my opinion, the easier way to go about things. So, hey man, pose. Okay, that was a horrible picture, but I don't care, because it's Tingle. <laughs> I mean, I hate Tingle at the end of the day, but I, I am glad he's in Zelda, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't, but, uh... You know, what would Zelda be without its weird characters at the end of the day? It'd just be another action game. Debatable. A really good action game, but we need weird characters like him, and uh, I think I got the... Did I get the right? No. I think I need to talk to him again, and uh, what do you mean? I hate to ask a potential customer, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. I need... I, I, want, I, I want to take the... Oh. Talking about his son. Blah, blah, blah. Have you had any photographs? Yes, I do. Of your son, actually, and... Oh, that's my son. Uh, he's still doing that sort of thing. How oh, humiliating. Well, it sounds like he's talking about a let's play. <laughs> Just kidding, but I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him. He really is a kind-hearted boy. Well, thank you for going all that trouble. It's a small token of my gratitude, and for whatever reason, even though it's not a miraculous uh, picture or anything, he'll give us a piece of heart. And, yeah, talk more about his son. <laughs> it's a really funny side quest if you think about it. Maybe he's bribing us with the heart piece so we don't talk about his son. And yes, that is the last exchange with the pictograph contest dude. And now that's been taken care of, there's but one more little side quest I can do at the moment in the Southern Swamp. And I really hope this doesn't take me too many tries. I mean, this one is way easier than the Octorok shooting game, but I don't know, man. I'm going to... It sounds like I'm a broken record, but I am, and I'm also an extremely annoying person, but that has nothing to do with what I'm about to say. The fact remains, the simplest things in games are always giving me the most trouble. I always be talking to friends like, yeah, was, wasn't that game really annoying? It's like, no, I did it on my first try, what are you, dumb? Either way, though, I might, aren't you all play game? Uh, the rules games are a piece of cock. Shoot your targets from the top to blah. This is a really offensive uh, impersonation, so I will stop. Anyways, this is another shooting game. It's a lot easier than the Deku one, basically. Just shoot all the targets, 
And it's pretty much over, and here come the Gawais. Even though as a kid we always just called them the birds, because that's what they are. There's also Wolfos to shoot, but at the end of the day, this is a really easy shooting gallery. Even with the N64, you know, not that great analog stick controls. It was very simple to just line up your shots and take down all these guys. It wasn't really all that hard. The Octorok shooting game, a million times worse than this. I put off doing Majora's Mask for the longest time just because of the Octorok shooting minigame, because, you know, I gotta do it 100%. That's the only way I can even do Let's Plays nowadays, but... Yeah, I did I did not like that. And that may sound a little silly to you guys. I just, I just think I can do it, but no. I was... I was very firm in my decision. I was like, no, I, I, I don't want to do... I don't want to deal with that again. I did it once, that's it for me, dude. I just do not like that. Little side quest challenge at all. Another wolfo. Just instantly take him down. It's really nice that we have infinite arrows. I remember in Ocarina at the time, it was just very frustrating when you'd run out of arrows in that one quest. And hey, we got a perfect! Without even trying. I mean, I was trying, but wasn't really aiming to do that, because the first uh, thing, you don't really need a perfect. Any other leftover time will be added to our school. And that's done good shooting, mate! Take this! The largest quiver, so now we can hold 50 arrows. Not bad, not bad at all. It's definitely going to be very helpful in the upcoming dungeons because you're going to use a lot of arrows in Majora's Mask. Yeah, so being able to hold as many as possible is definitely very valuable. But now we got to do that all over again. Yeah, we got to get another perfect to get the piece of heart. So let's pay for another game and, well, get to it. Alright, another perfect down. I think I actually did way better that time. I don't even remember my score though. Wow, that is some short term memory and that's pretty good, take this. And before we even get to see what we get, gotta make sure the bomber notebook, you know, updates a little way. Okay, where would we be without the bomber notebook? I have no idea, but we now have another heart container because that was our last piece of heart. Now it's taken care of though. We're pretty much done in the southern swamp. Now pretty much everything we need to accomplish in the future is in the north. But we don't want to go there yet either because there's more. <laughs> How funny is it like Link with the wings and the bunny hood? He just looks like so weird. Anyways, now it's taken care of. If you go to the post office in between the times of 3 to 6, you can actually play a mini game. And if you don't have the bunny hood, get it because this mini game sucks without it. This is our first time inside the post office and... Um, hey dude, what what are you doing? Yeah. Ah! Those ears! Oh, they're fake! You startled me! Don't disturb my training! My mind, I'm running for 10 seconds. It's mental training, huh? It's difficult. I'm pretty sure I could do it. So basically, this mini game is, we need to count to 10. But if you have the bunny hood on, it will time it up for you. Okay, I just want to make sure I got that my first try, and your time was 10 seconds exactly! That's amazing! Your reflex is suitable for a post, man. Okay, a piece of art, why not? I can't be like this. Well, too bad, dude. I, I beat your challenge on the first try. Sorry. But you got owned. <laughs> and yes, another piece of heart. Admittedly... If you didn't know about the bunny hood thing, I could definitely see how it'd be very challenging to do. Especially with, you know, latency on TVs and stuff. Or, you know all that, Giles. Anyway, so that's been taken care of. Uh, what do we want to do next? Well, hmm. Is there even anything else I can take care of in this day? I'm not too sure. Huh, I, I guess not. I guess we'll just play the song with double time and go forward to the second day. So now our main objectives are completing... The, uh, Deku Playground, second quest, or it's not second quest, <laughs> second challenge, and also the Lover and Darlings one, or, what is that? <laughs> what is even their shop called? It's like the Lover's Game Hall. I don't care, I hate that place. I don't want to know the name of it, oh my gosh. And anyways, guys, I'm just going to be optimistic about this, actually not optimistic, uh, the polar opposite of optimism. I'm just going to withdraw a lot of rupees right now because I'm pretty sure I'm going to stink and lose all of them because, yeah, the uh, Deku Playground minigame, it gets more difficult. 
why does it get more difficult? Because this game hates me and they, it knows I'm bad at it and makes me want to get better, but I don't want to get better, so... Eh, I don't know. Either way, though, we're going inside the playground. We're definitely not the last time. We still got the hardest version on the third day, so... Eh, I don't know, man. I don't even, the thing is, I don't even have tips for this, dude. Like, seriously, I don't. I just, just spam it until, you know, I beat it, basically, and... Now the platforms are going to be moving. I find this a million times worse. It's very easy, you know, just to get to the elevation that you need and to make sure I get that one. Okay, great. That's it's like the first that's the hardest part is just getting onto the first platform. I'm actually going to go into the inner circle if I can. I really want to do this my first try cuz I don't want to waste too much time you know in the day. Assuming I can't beat the other mini game, which I should be able to do on my first try. That one's really, really easy too. And okay, that was actually a really bad position. Actually, no, I can get this one. All right, that's good. We'll get the blue one. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, sweet. <laughs> We're doing good so far. Hope I don't jinx it. We just got two more rupees to collect. I'm gonna hang out here a little bit and then get out. So we can get this one on the rebound. Nice, nice. Just one more rupee to go. Okay. Let's just wait a little bit more. All right, that's gonna be. Is that on the white or the? Okay, it's on the white. Okay, I'll take it, man. I'm very happy about that. In 46 seconds, take this. Another gosh dang fishing all pass. Why did they do this to me? I'm not sure, but yeah, that's the second Deku Flower Power <laughs> mini game. One more to go, and we'll never have to come back here ever again, which I'm definitely okay with. Like, I don't, I don't want to keep playing that. I don't, I don't even think it's that fun. It's just hard. Gosh dang it. Either way, though. Yeah, that's been taken care of. All we gotta do is go do the lovers little mini game, which is way easier this time. It has nothing to do with bomb choose. It still has to do something with bombs, but definitely not bomb choose. And yeah, you know, I think I've mentioned this before, guys, but on the second day it always rains. I like the rain. Some days. I mean when I'm indoors, you know, playing video games, you know, rain's kinda cool. As long as it's not thundering or anything, you know, it's it's nice, you know. But, hey man, that's just my opinion. That is the wrong building, John. <laughs> Heck, I do not want to play the Octo Hawk minigame ever again for as long as I live, even in this version. And today, the Honey and Darling Shop will have sort of a basketball... No, basket bomb. Witty, witty. Basically, all we have to do is throw bombs into baskets and make them explode. Same thing as before, fall in the water. Which, apparently, they flooded their entire... Arena, or... I don't know why there's water in here. It makes no sense. But there is. Yeah, this is really easy. Maybe it's just because I've been using the bomb controls in 3D Zelda games for a really long time. Or at least, you know, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. But yeah, not really too hard. Slam Jam, thank you, ma'am. We'll get a perfect. Way easier than the bomb chew one, in my opinion. <laughs> just saying it. You just yeah, you got a perfect. We should share our happiness. Cool. I, I, I have a lot of those now. I don't want any more. Thank you, though. Um... Sorry if I throw it out. <laughs> and that's annoying. Let's show off our love. Uh, you, you two do that. Go for it. No, really, just go for it. So then that has been taken care of. Uh, I think there's just... Yeah, it's just those two minigames again. Actually, not really again. It's not the same minigame again, but... Same location. I don't think I've mentioned it before, but if you press the R button, it'll instantly take you to the, you know, the next day, so you don't have to scroll over. It's kind of nice. A lot of nice little touches in this game. That's what I really appreciate about games sometimes. It's, you know, it's not the grand scope, but like general UI things like that are pretty nice. Anyways, the third day of the Honey and Darling Shop with the 3DS controls is a cakewalk. Like, seriously. It wasn't even that hard in the original. Okay, maybe it was a little hard, but this is laughably easy. Okay, I missed an arrow or two, but it's so simple. And I wonder if I can shoot the... Okay, I'm going to avoid doing it, but... Pretty sure arrows do not go through people, so who's to say? Let's tilt our controls a little bit and get realigned. It's just, it's so easy, guys. Like, you have four, keep in mind, you have like 40 seconds to do this. I'm pretty much done. If the moon could stop, you know, rumbling, though, that'd kind of help my shot a little bit. Uh, but no, compare this to the horseback riding in Ocarina of Time. That archery was difficult. This is just made a million times easier. Oh my gosh. It's fantastic, and you got another perfect score three days in a row. This is all we have left to give you. 
Cool. Oh, but, oh, actually, cool. Thank you for that piece of heart. Collected three so far, so if we get one more piece of heart, we'll get another heart container. So let's track that one down, and you guys know where it is. Oh my gosh. We gotta play the Deku Playground one more time, and I wonder, are we truly happy, darling? Uh, it's a very deep philosophical question. I'm not too... I'm not... I don't have any input on that, but you know what? Hey. I think you guys are happy in some degree. I think I can say that and everyone will be okay. So yeah, you guys are happy. Not as happy as me though, because I never have to go in your stupid building ever again. <laughs> Either way though, maybe, maybe I'm being too harsh. These mini games, at the end of the day, they're not hard. They're just hard to me, and that's why I kind of dislike them. Oh gosh, the music gets kind of creepy. My final day, you guys hear that like undertone? Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of. I want to say creepy, but a little, um, or not disorienting either, but eerie. Eerie is a good word for it. Yeah, because we all know what's going to happen if we don't do something. And revert time, and oh my gosh, this is going to take me forever. Let's try this again. Let's see how we do. Please. Please. Oh my gosh, that was too close! <laughs> thank... The Goddess of Time. I don't even know who to thank. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Deku Platforms. I don't care. I hate that piece of heart. We got it, though. We got a new heart container. We literally cannot even come back and play this minigame again. I... I am ecstatic, honestly. That took me so many attempts. <laughs> I don't want to even say how many, but such a useful face. But we're really dealing with a champion, and yeah, it's Link Hyde, so we can't even play the game again because they don't lose any more stuff, which is actually kind of funny. But now, now that that stuff has all been taken care of, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. And now that all those side quests have been taken care of, in the next part, we go to the North Mountains. So see you guys then. Bye.